All right, as families gather around the table this Thanksgiving, it can be the perfect time to start those conversations about finances. Now, listen, it may be uncomfortable, but it's an important one. And here with the tips there to get the conversation started, his friend to the show, you know him, uh, financial professional Tony Drake from Drake and Associates. Tony, good morning. Good morning, to you. buddy. What's what, what's harder to talk about, finances or politics? At Listen, I don't want to talk about both at the table. <laughs> I have an appetite, you know what I'm saying? And you can, you know, between the two, they can cause quite the conversation. But listen, why is it important to discuss uh, financial issues as a family? I think there's a number of great opportunities as we all get together. Some of us are more fin financially educated than others, so it's nice to spread that knowledge to other family members. And Frank, I work with retirees every day. One of the toughest parts about working with retirees is people do pass away. And when things happen and the rest of the family is kind of in the dark, doesn't know where things are, how that person wanted the estate set up, it makes it really challenging. It's already a difficult time emotionally, and that can make it really difficult. But it's a nice opportunity when we're all together at this great time of year to talk about some of those things, talk about finances, talk about some of your wishes in retirement and what you want to see happen with your assets. And would you say it's also a great time, maybe if you're having a small Thanksgiving to talk with family, kind of just moving into the new year, you kind of want to regroup, you want to look at some of the things that maybe you, we do a little bit differently, kind of moving in. Is this a good time also to talk with the family, maybe on a, a smaller size? Yeah, I really like to take this opportunity to talk about it, and and not just with the extended family, Frank. We, we have a lot of couples that come into retirement, and they've done the hard work, they've done the savings, but they haven't sat down and really talked about what does this word retirement mean? That might have a very different definition for different people. Making sure we're on the same page there can really set us up for a great retirement, one where we can kind of give and take a little bit, find that balance. So both parts of that couple are are happy. But when you have that family together, just taking that opportunity to discuss some of these things, I, I know it can be uncomfortable. Some families are a little bit more open about the finances than others, but it's a great way to kind of connect and really discuss some of your dreams, wishes, and desires. You know, I'd rather it be a, a small, uncomfortable conversation than to be a big problem later. You know, what topics should we be covering in these financial conversations? Is it, is it uh, how much we're spending out? Is it how much we're saving? I, I know we were looking at retirement, but what are some of those other conversations and what do those look like? Always great to talk about the budget. Not always a fun conversation, right? But most people, when we sit down and really take a hard look at that budget, really track the expenses for a couple months, almost everybody finds an area that they're spending a little bit more than they thought. And that could be a great area to maybe cut back a little bit, put a little bit more towards savings. Again, if we can talk a little bit about our dreams for the future, not just retirement, but maybe it's a big trip. Maybe it's moving to a different home. There could be different dreams for people. Once you start to visualize some of that, then you can really start to connect the dots and it kind of fuels the retirement savings a little bit. Of course, we want to talk about estate planning, right? A lot of people don't think about that. They think about estate planning as something for the ultra wealthy. We all need certain documents like a will, healthcare power of attorney, financial power of attorney, this is a great time to discuss. If I get sick and I can't make my own financial or health care decisions, this is what I want to see happen and mm -hmm. long-term care. It's a tough one, frankly, but a lot of people, about half of us will wind up in some type of long-term care facility. A lot of great ways to plan for that. If we don't plan, it can take a massive hit to that remaining spouse or partner that, that's in that relationship. Long-term care can cost north of $100,000 a year. So mm. really important to get on the same page with those topics. Tony, quickly, I, I want to get this question in. I know we have a very small amount of time. What advice can you give uh, folks here to, to just to get this conversation started? I don't know if you would want to have this at the, at the, at the dinner table. Maybe not at the dinner table, but it really is as simple as just getting started. Start talking about it, work through some of that fear. I think once everybody gets on the same page, everybody's in a much better position. I think it's going to set you up for a better financial future. Tony, we appreciate you as always. Such a uh, wealth of knowledge there. Thank you so much.